Yeah. Alrighty, this is our indie lab. Um, Colin and I are men of music, and so we are intrigued with the relation of frequency and pitches. This is when we got engaged. Yeah, <laughs> just so you know. So the purpose of this lab was to have a better understanding of the relationship between pitch and frequency, and we hypothesized that if we calculated the rate, ratio of frequencies between like pitch goals of musical significance, like thirds and fifths, um, we would find that as the, uh, the, the ratio will increase as the octave increases. Does everyone know what like thirds and fifths are in like music sense? Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Not at all. <laughs> all right. So this was the equipment we used, and uh, this is the keyboard we used, or the Yamaha uh, uh, P80, and um, it's a computer, and uh, we used a uh, Shure SM57 microphone, uh, and that we uh, recorded the sounds that came out of the speakers from the keyboard, and then we used this, and we put it into um, Ableton to just record it, and then we used those audio files and put it into Audacity, and then from there we measured the um, number of waves in a certain amount of time, and that's how we found um, the, the frequency. As you can see here. And we did like different um, intervals, like octaves, and then thirds and fifths, and then yeah, chromatic too. Chromatic, yeah, just going off the scale, chromatic. And then source of error, background noises, um, uh, pitch fluctuations in the speakers for some random reason, you never know. Uh, and then the miscount of waves, which I don't think happened. Yeah, it, our data was all pretty. So, so this is some of the data, and this is for just uh, chromatic going off the octave, and um, so what I did, I just went through and counted 20 waves and then looked at the time, um, and then divided that into any time frequency, and you can see that here with the, yeah. And then this is thirds, <coughs> and so we found that um, so these are the frequencies we found, and these were accepted frequencies. And so that's how we found error. Cause, and we found the accepted frequencies off like a website because they're known, because they're uh, studied by people. And uh, just more stuff. Here's the, the website we found the accepted frequencies. And All right, um, then we took our graphs. Um, and tried to analyze them. It was kind of redundant because we defined uh, frequency as number of waves divided by time. So when you graphed frequency versus inverse time, that was just like turning the equation around and gives you a number of waves. And so you can't see, but the slope of this is 20, and that's how many waves we highlighted when we uh, calculated frequency. And it's that way for every other graph, the slope is 20. <laughs> Which is nice, which means we did it. We, we counted the number of waves. Right, we did it. Same thing. Another one. Another <laughs> octave. For octaves also. Yeah. Um, and then, after that, what we did is we took, so within one octave, we took the, what was it, the fifth and divided it by the, the frequency of the fifth and divided it by the frequency of the, the one. Does that make sense? So like a, the first note, yeah. the fifth note of the scale divided by like a, the first like note. Like a G divided by a C. Yeah. And um, we found that no matter what the octave, the ratio was the same. So this disproved our hypothesis. Um, well, fun fact, we were wrong. Um, <laughs> and so we got all these pretty numbers. There you go. Um, this, this may be... Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Question. Did you look at all into playing the two notes at the same time and like how the combination of frequencies did anything? Was that mm -hmm. ever thought about or did you just look at like individual notes on the Just individual notes. <laughs> really pretty cool. I want to follow up on that because I don't know anything about music, but I think that's very interesting because I think that those ratios mean that the waves are converging back again after five of one and four of the other, or four of one and three of the other, or six of one and five of the other, and that's beauty somehow. Yeah, we so are. I, guess, I guess you could look at it by playing the two notes and then like looking at the waves and whenever they connect, it would be like, that's pretty cool. 
me an idea. One more question? Thank you guys. Oh, no question. Do you wow. ever look at any, um, I see that you used like thirds and fourths and fifths and octaves. Did you ever look at any dissident like we pitches? Thought about, like, ones we thought about, we almost did. Well, yeah. there is, there is, there are ratios for like minor thirds, like C to E flat. And then which, triads too. Yeah, triads. Which are just like, we did not, we did not.